My chapter is about the shocking amount of censorship that goes on on campus, and also about why this actually matters to our larger society. I think people should take it for a given that if censorship take, takes place on campus, that's a bad thing. But uh, I do actually consistently have to make the argument that if we're actually censoring on campuses, the one place where free speech should be paramount, um, this will, is going to have a, a long-term negative effect on our, on our entire society. And I think we're experiencing that, those negative effects right now. People would be shocked to know that 71% of colleges that we've surveyed have codes that flatly violate the principles of the First Amendment. This is actually, believe it or not, an improvement over previous years when it got closer to 79% according to our studies. And this is a study of, of nearly 400 colleges. There are so many different harms that, that speech codes actually impose both on universities and on our society. Uh, the most obvious one is this is against the law. Every single speech code that has ever been challenged in court, and at this point we have 13 decisions, court decisions, has been overturned. Um, universities are, are, are flatly ignoring the law. One of the great harms of speech codes and campus censorship is it leaves students with the false impression that censorship is what good, compassionate people do. I believe that the lack of free speech on campus is one of the reasons why American discourse has just been in trouble for the past decade. Um, a larger portion of our population is educated and the, le the level of discourse has only gotten worse. And I think this comes from something that John Stuart Mill would predict, that if you're not taught to debate and defend your beliefs, you end up holding them like prejudices. And I think that this actually contributes to this sort of armed camp mentality that we seem to have as a society right now. What universities should be doing is not punishing students for debating the most serious topics of the day. They should actually be encouraging them to have the big debates that we have in our society. Everything from en uh, en environmentalism to affirmative action to immigration, everything should be on the table for debate and discussion. Because if you have to debate and discuss it, you start understanding why you believe it in the first place. Otherwise, people walk around knowing they believe something with absolutely no idea why they believe it. Freedom of speech is a fragile right. If it ceases to be a popularly held belief, if people stop believing in it as a moral concept, um, in the long term, the legal concept will suffer, um, and as will the state of our democracy, as, as will all of our freedoms. Um, freedom of speech is the right upon which virtually every other right depends.